All right, mates, how's it going? In today's video, chapter 22 of Dawn of the Aspects. So let's go. So, uh, this is awkward. What now? Malago stood there, considering a number of options, but it was Alex Straza who answered Neltharion out loud. We must fight. Both Malagos and Kalek were pleased to see that none of the others protested or refused. Kalek was particularly happy to see Alex Straza finally showing signs of why she ended up being leader of the Five Aspects. And Malagos was just happy that, although he had come to the same conclusion, if it all goes to shit, it's Alex Straza's fault, really. But the group then turned to Malagos for some kind of plan on how they were going to fight. They still respected his intellect. Tia had seemingly picked Malagos first, after all. But Tia was now gone, without a trace and Kalek could sense that his host had concluded that a beast had taken the body and was probably nibbling on it, right now. Kalek, however, felt pretty certain that something with a more intelligent purpose had stolen Tyr away. Neltharion then let out a warning hiss, interrupting that thought, and the five proto-dragons immediately crouched low in response. Off in the distance, near the mountains, three figures flew slowly in the sky, and their movement was a little bit strange. It wasn't fluid like normal proto-dragons, it was all haphazard and stop-motion-y, not living. Malagos had noticed something further that was weird about them. Fly too smart, not like others. They search. Galakrond is their master. They hunt what he hunts, and he hunts us. Like you said before, they see us, Galakrond sees us. Ignoring the fact that two not living literally saw them a few moments ago in the previous video, bit of a plot hole there, just saying, they were not wrong. The behemoth did have control over his victims, and Kalak had no doubt that if the undead located them, Galakrond would find out. Malagos then studied the land and focused on the mountains. We go there. Mate, that's where they are. No, they searched there before. That's where they were. There was some logic to Malagos' thinking. The undead would finish their search of the mountains and then move on somewhere else, making it the safest place to hide, in theory. The other proto-dragons nodded and followed as the icy blue took off, but as they flew, they kept low to avoid being seen by any undead stragglers. Once they reached the mountains, a voice inside Malagos' head advised him to turn here, both the Icy Blue and Kalek had absolutely no idea whose voice it was, so Malagos pulled up short, with Neltharion almost colliding into him. The group then halted, as Malagos span around in search of the speaker, but instead of finding them, he saw Galakrond. The smaller proto-dragons immediately split up, heading to whatever overhang or cover they could find. They weren't abandoning each other, they just all knew their only chance of survival was to scatter. As they waited for the misshapen leviathan to completely pass overhead, the monster paused, and then landed up on the peaks above his weight causing a landslide. Tons of rocks spilled down in the area where Malagos knew Alex Straza and Nosdormu were hiding, and another landslide rumbled in the distance, where the giant's other hind paw had settled. Galakron then shifted position, which resulted in even more collapses. The extra eyes on his body were darting here, there and everywhere, searching the entire region for prey. It was a bloody miracle the behemoth hadn't spotted any of them yet. He then moved forward again, causing even more landslides, and he was now poking his nose around the area that Asira had headed towards. Malagos couldn't see her, but he knew she would be hiding in the very shadows that Galakron was now sniffing around. The giant hissed, and a faint amount of his death mist came out, but fortunately, it was just an after effect of his breathing, rather than an actual attack. But then, out of nowhere, Galakron started coughing, and within a few seconds, that coughing grew so intense that Malagos thought, maybe this is it, maybe he's just going to die of natural causes. That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? But as he coughed, Kalak observed a few minute changes in Galakrond. The extra eyes and limbs dot in his body appeared to shrink and shrivel, and even after the coughing fit subsided, they remained shrunk and shriveled. Malagos noticed this too and stored the knowledge away as he waited for the beast to depart. After one final study of the area, Galakrond finally did move on. However, Malagos waited several more minutes before daring to move at all. Finally, once he was certain the big asshole was gone, the Icy Blue left his hidey hole and started to look for the others. First, he head over to where he'd seen Alex Straza disappear, the remnants of the landslide at her location concerned him quite a bit, but as he neared, she thrust her snout out from the shadows. Next, the two head to where Nosdormu would hit, and he was just patiently perched atop some rubble waiting for them. However, he was slightly injured. His left wing moved noticeably slower than his right. He tried to just play it off as a flesh wound, but it could still potentially slow Nosdormu at a critical time. Isira then appeared behind them and was like, sup bruv, as if nothing had just happened. And that just left Neltharion to find. Once they arrived at his last known location, they discovered the spot had been hit by far more rubble than anywhere else, and Malagos was pretty sure that absolutely no one would have survived that, and Kalek shared his doubt, despite there being this nagging feeling in his brain that he somehow already knew that Neltharion should survive. And we're leaving it there! Obviously Neltharion does survive, we all know that. In the next video, Kalek starts having some major brain farts. As usual, link in the description if you're interested in buying the book, 
Also, there's links to my Discord server and my Patreon page to you. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!